I have the same. Okay, Fred. Fred. Hello, Fred. Hello, folks. Where are you all? Ah, okay. I just yep. spawned on the other side of the. Yep. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going there we're, to join you guys. There. We, we came to. We started in parking. <clears throat> okay, and tech. What call sign is tech? Maybe it's more trouble to have call signs than just names and assignments. Um, we could change our our name on the simulator to uh, to our call oh. signs, right? Oh, let's try that. I don't know if we would have to to restart the fly. Oh, yeah, yeah probably. Like, yeah, yeah I had to. Some reason it's not working. Sorry. I'm gonna have to restart the simulator here because uh, somehow my head tracker is not working. Uh, something got wrong here. All right. Now it's it's too long to change. Uh... Oh. And uh, I don't understand. High tech uh, is doing a Phoenix or Albatross or what? I think he's doing yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. I need a reminder that the what are what were Phoenix and Albatross again? What were they doing? So Albatross is just there for rescue, I think. He's the the only one with a medic on board, I believe so. And right. and Phoenix is there uh, the whole time to um, illuminate the the rig. And also to to help with the rescue after the the operation. So seagulls uh, are going to actually do the the fast roping, right? And after we receive the okay for the spec for the for the operations that uh, they are safe, then we are going to to land one by one in the the landing pad to start taking people out. Now right. I don't know if we are going to first take the hostages out and leave the the um, uh, terrorist, I think, <laughs> and uh, or or if we are going to first take out the terrorists and then do a, a recovery, um, no, a, a no, rescue no. Surely operation. It's, surely it's prisoners first. All right, all right then. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't do the counting of. Uh, how many trips we were going to to do right to take all the but we can do that after the the training right this is the easier easier part yeah part. yeah what was it 15 pirates and 25 prisoners or something yeah something like that yeah multiple flights in any case right it says 25 hostages and 15 but pirates. that's what i was uh, thinking 25. if if we are going to, uh, if we first just take out the the terrorists, then we could uh, send a boat or or something bigger or a, a floater to take the, the hostages. I don't know. No, no. The, m the, the terrorists that are not dead are going to be tied up, and the prisoners will need esca escape immediately. And if they don't have it, they're going to sue the shit out of us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I think uh, for this training we can do this simple. Just uh, three seagull fast roping, and then after that, uh, circle five minutes or ho or hovering, and then each by one by one, we are five hellos here, so each one land and at the spot any spot and take uh, each one five prisoners and hit back to base all terrorists sure. will, will be killed by the delta team and the uh, special force F food for the sharks 
Yeah, that's a good option as well. I think yeah. Delta team is already ready. Uh, so who is the on the on my left side here? It's a tall. You're a little too close for tags. Yes. If you want to see the tags, we we have to be a little. Yes, not not so close. Okay, I see Fred, Mickey. The same will apply once we're at the rig because uh, it's a pretty tight rig. Well, I have a problem. I see everyone as planes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yes. Did someone had this problem as well? Um. Uh, only earlier, I was on pause mode and it didn't update my model. After unpausing, it worked. Um. Are you playing with uh, VR or anything? I am playing with VR, but I don't think that's a problem uh, regarding the VR. Maybe you guys are using a helicopter, a different version than mine, I don't know. No, we, mm. we all three looking very well, all in FSB livery. It's only you, uh, I see you in uh, FSB livery too. Yeah, that's really weird. Let me log out and in again and see if that um, it works because it's going to be really funny to see all these planes hovering and landing on the on the platform. Fred, do you have the FSB livery for the H135? FSB livery? No, I don't. Maybe that that's might the be the problem, yeah. Because yeah. we're all in that. Nah. But, okay. We, uh, so we could when, switch. We could switch. We could all switch to... Before you do that, let's... Oh, well, we would have to... Show yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be faster <laughs> from just me. I also don't have the FSB uh, livery, and uh, I'm logging in right now. I'm going to check if I do see you, because uh, I have saw many... Uh, H-135s uh, uh, with liveries that I didn't have and they look like H-135 with other liveries so uh, just let let me check for before you change your crafts alright alright <laughs> okay I just see your tag already you are spawning for me as a plane <laughs> No. Uh, yes, I do see a plane on my, my side. And, uh, yeah, see Fred as a chopper and everyone else as a plane. Oh, that's really weird. Uh, well, I'm going to... How about everyone just log in again without the delivery? Uh, but what is what I find is really weird, uh, high tech, is that you are a plane as well. Uh, which which livery are you, are you using? I'm using that one from the U.S. U.S. Coast Guard from Kodiak. Oh, that's okay. Can uh, yeah. well, I think it's uh, it, it would be best for everyone to just select a livery, a default livery for uh, for the helicopter. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so you mean the HPG one? I don't know what is the HPG one. I yeah, I assume it's the only livery I have that's called HP, HPG, which of course is the people who made this thing. Um, oh, I think this. I, I the don't think I downloaded that. I'm not sure what the default livery is actually. But uh, the 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 last the, at least the latest version of the helicopter does have quite a few liveries already yes oh. yes the all of them have an uh, HPG logo on the bottom on the on the image where you select the liveries I'm, I'm gonna select that one with the yellow and uh, a little red stripes it's a uh, Luft ambulance I think all right that's a default one Ah, what? Atoll, I can see your 
your heli as a plane as well? Are you going to, to change the delivery? Uh, yes, but which one? The HPG livery? You can select any one of the default liveries that came with the helicopter. Okay. Horse camper once it is. Uh, oh, stupid flight <laughs> saved its own livery. <laughs> yeah, we have to make sure tomorrow that when we do the real thing that we uh, all have the same thing. Yeah, I think to in in order to be safe, it's better to just select the this the, the default liveries for everyone, or we make sure that everyone has the delivery. The, the same. Okay, now, now I'm default livery. I don't know. It's okay for you. I'm. Okay, I what? can see. I can see a tall already in a chopper. The the white one. White one, yes, with, with blue, blue on the tail. Okay, I can see high tech already in the, the chopper. Is it okay for everyone? Sorry, for me it's okay so far. Yeah, I'm yeah. Still, lo still loading in. So. Okay, who is Stick Hog? Oh, that's Rich H. All right. I see Fred and High Tech in helicopters. Uh, I see them yellow. <laughs> High Tech is yellow. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I think. Oh. I think we, <laughs> we all use the default livery. Uh, uh, high tech and Mickey are on the exact same spot. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. uh, we, we don't even see place. because uh, <laughs> when we get too close to to another plane, uh, the plane disappears. So, yeah. okay, I'm I'm already starting up. Uh, I'm gonna move. All right, I can see Mickey in high tech in the white livery. Yeah, mine is supposed to be yellow. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, but that's that's not really a problem. Yeah, it's uh, actually everyone is using the same white lever for me. But as soon as, <laughs> as long as everyone is in a in a shopper, that's all right. I see everyone in chopper. For me, it's good. I do as well. Okay, I'm gonna move from here. Ah, I have to check. Landing light on. It's okay. Who is in front of you, Fred? I don't see a name. I think is um, at all. I think if you if you got a, a little bit further away, you can see. I'm, that's his what tag. I'm doing. I, yeah. It just came up. Okay, yeah. well, that's good. I see Mickey in a helicopter. I see High Tech in a helicopter. I see everyone in a helicopter. Nice. I see Don's name in the distance, but I have no idea what he's doing. Yeah, me neither. I guess he's delivering Delta. Yeah. Well, uh, who was on the same spot as me? It was Mickey. It he, he left off already. Ah, okay. He's okay. flying. Yeah. Um, I see Don Don. Who? Don Don. I think uh, late south already on the oil rig. If you, I don't know if he's on the on the voice channel. 
Can someone call he'll, him he'll, here? Well, then, uh, left. He's not here right now. Alright. So I think the first part of the, the operation, which is just uh, the me going there and, and taking the Delta squad first, the, the Delta team first, and then coming back, we don't need to simulate, right? So since it's just uh, a round trip. And uh, then we can just go for the second part or directly, which is everyone just uh, departing at the same time. And when no. we get there, sorry. Yes, yes, ju just um, yeah, switch to second part immediately and forget uh, the Delta team. Yeah. And then let's go all there and we have to take our positions. Uh, all seagulls, they, they know your positions in the platform? Yes. Who is the second or third? I just w heard one yes. Who is seagull two? It's all a seagull two. Yes, eight or seagull two. And seagull three? That's stick. Alright, so stick, uh, did you do you know your position on the platform? Yeah, the red zone. Awesome. So let's go. Let's let's go all take off now. Okay. Let's go. Are we staying like below certain altitude or on approach? Sorry? Are we gonna stay below a certain altitude on approach? I don't know. I don't what do you prefer? Uh, Atoll, sorry, Atoll and Miki, do you have your, your plane loaded? Because you are going to the wrong side. I'm going to the training or rig. Where Dundon Dun is. I'm not loaded. Oh, that's true. Cycle. Sorry, I was going to the to the real one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the yeah. flight plan currently is the real one. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> later, later. Mm. One thirty for the cruise speed. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm following you. <laughs> That's a shame. We can we can't see each other's spotlights. Yeah. Oh really? That's really shame. Don Don is uh, in helicopter too. Awesome. <laughs> Should be fun. I think one of the things we have to make sure, like tomorrow, is that the uh, attack helicopters stay close to each other. Yes, I'm yep. too fast. I will slow down. Yeah, we should yeah. set a, a a right speed and an altitude yeah. for everyone. T technically, Atoll should have been following Fred, regardless of the direction this Fred was going. Yes, I I'm slowing down.
Oh, if I'm correct, guys, normally uh, seagulls they go in first and then phoenix light up at the same time they follow, correct? Yes, that's correct. Has everyone loaded passengers into their load weight and balance? Yep. <laughs> 500 feet, 100 nuts. Sorry? Uh, I'm, I'm about 400 feet now. 100 knots. Let's go in one mile. Alright. I'm at 135. And one, 1100 feet. Hovering for fast rope is about 223, 200 feet, about. That's good. I don't know if that point would be already inside the dead zone, but let's consider it is. So, I think it's still far, right? He's an observer. Yeah. Um, so I think we we go now. Yeah, in go ahead. Entering the dead zone. Yeah. At this so point, we're going to to talk to the Delta team to get on board, and we are going to get down to the fast roping. But Delta team was already on board, right? Doing prep yeah, work okay. so that we can safely do this. Okay, Seagull 1. He's on... I'm on the position. other side, yes. I'm arriving to... Not too fast. Entering the dead zone, approaching uh, Sigu 2 drop zone. Sigu 3 will be moving past your left, Atoll, to red zone. I'm in drop zone, hovering. Ten seconds. Phoenix two is lighting up at the hovering. Okay, ten seconds finished. Quitting position. Circle. Seagull 3 dropping. 
fast roping. Drifting into the crane. Is he going on dropping? Off. Got way too close. <coughs> okay, then we just select a position outside of the dead zone. Okay, we just now select a position outside the dead zone and hover. I definitely need to, to set up a key for this GTC. Civil tree hovering outside the dead zone. Now loaded at LM little nav map. I'm moving out. Sorry, I was in stick. Seagull three was inside the dead zone. I didn't have nav map loaded. Oh yeah, me neither. So I'm not going to be able to see little nav map, but with a plan, uh, I would be able to see in my cockpit. But I'm just going to assume now that I'm outside the that zone. What's the size of the dead zone? Sorry? What what is the dead zone or how how far we need to get? It's a hundred meters away from the platform. Ah, it's it's really close. Yeah. Wow. Oh it seems like it's larger than that. Nah no, just I would say so. 500 meters or something like that oh you know what it depends on which side you're on i'm on the southeast side and i think it's the closest yep well let's make sure on the planning on the flight plan we have that waypoints that let us know the di the distance for now let's um, just assume uh, also uh, this well on normal zoom, uh, the platform is approximately the size of my artificial horizon, so you can use that as a guide for distance, roughly. I'm using VR, so it's not a, a measure for me. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's assume that at this point, the operation already gave us the okay, so I'm going first on the landing pad. Yep. You should identify yourself not by eye or by call sign. Perfect. So, Seagull 1, go into the landing pad. Right. Oh wow, I just discovered the purple dot 
can be moved around with the autopilot left, right, up, and down in order to attempt to compensate for drift. Sigur 1 loading. Sigur 1 finished loading passengers. We're they happy to see you. Okay, Seagull 3 side doors open. We'll follow Atoll. Seagull 2. Sigo one leaving to split. Okay, I think we we can we can land with uh, two hellos on the platform. So Seagull two and Seagull three can land together. I think. No rotors will hit. Yep. <laughs> one by one. One by one only. Yep. Okay. Now, you're still inbound, right, uh, Seagull 2? Seagull 2 is inbound. Roger. Single two landed. One, two, three, four, five. Five on board. Single two departing. Okay, Seagull three inbound to the platform. <laughs> <coughs> Sigo one said that was going to split, but I'm actually going to stay here just to watch you. Yes, well, mm -hmm. watching too. <laughs> <laughs> Seagull three is down, loading. Am I Phoenix 1? Yeah, yeah, I think you are the only one Phoenix in here. Yeah, you're Phoenix 1, I'm Phoenix 2. Alright, so two Phoenixes. Seagull 3 is loaded and taking off. <coughs> Phoenix 1 in bottom <coughs> platform. Nice at night. I would really prefer to have this the night vision goggles. Huh. Is anyone using it? I'm not. No. But I don't have the Steam version, so that's why. I think someone uh, posted on the free, the free chat channel a uh, solution for the um, 
Windows Store version. Phoenix One loading. Okay, you are the next one to land, uh, correct? Correct. Phoenix One loaded and taken off. Phoenix 2 approaching platform. Phoenix 2 on the platform and loading. Yep. Finish loading and take off. So let's go back to split. Let's get home, boys. <laughs> okay, okay. There, there was there were twenty five hostages, right? Yeah, we got them off. So five choppers, we got them off. Yeah. Yes, five choppers. I must say it's tricky though at night. It, it's what? Sorry? It's tricky at night to land, I think. Oh, Was it is. Yes. Oh, it's so well lit. That's a nice moon. Yeah, like the moon on the on the, the water is actually very beautiful as well. <laughs> Did anybody actually film this or? <laughs> I'm streaming only. I'm recording it. Yeah, okay, perfect. Because I don't have the time to watch it live, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy getting my uh, helicopter in the air. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Somebody's recording, it's okay.
Oh, I think that went well. Yeah, it's like I said, some small things tomorrow. Make sure we all have the same livery. Um, that we depart like already in the correct formation. Uh, keep the same speed. Yep, I agree. Have the correct plan, uh, flight plan loaded on the screen. <laughs> Here's hoping the weather is just nice <laughs> for the operation. Because <laughs> this is perfect. Clear, clear sky. Yeah. Yeah. Although it will be a really interesting movie if it if it isn't. <laughs> Especially if it's windy. Oh yeah. And no moon. That's good. They count, yes. My vote is we have uh, no lights on going in. I mean, we're using tags. We'll call that a, a HUD identif uh, identify a friend or foe on a HUD or something. Yeah. I, I'm okay with that. I was just thinking about something, uh, Blue Thunder. Anybody actually ever saw that uh, series a long time ago when they went into stealth mode? Yeah. Blue you are, Thunder. You are just confessing your, your age here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I never watched Blue Thunder. Ah, it's a nice movie. I think it's like 30 years old or something, I'm not sure, but that, at that day and age, it was like, wow. Yeah, more than 30, I think. Uh, yes, 83 or 82, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> was a kid. Was made with a French helicopter, Blue Thunder. Ton air bleu, alors. Presque. <laughs> Which one? No, it was French for Blue Thunder. It's Ton air bleu. Fine. No, I, I was asking which French helicopter. Uh, it was uh, Ecureuil. Does that mean squirrel in French, Ecureuil? Yes, squirrel. Exactly. Well, yes, I, I know that one. That's small. Alpha Sierra 352, I think. Something like that. Seagull 3 coming in behind Seagull 2. Seagull, two, Seagull 1 has, landing, has landed. Seagull 2 landed. Speak high tech, you! PC don't surf. <laughs> Mickey, where are you? On the runway. Huh? Seagull 3 is down behind Seagull 2. Oh, that was nice. 
Yeah, that was good. Phoenix last down. <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> you see old Bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that is a thing we we have to clear for the next mission. All the same livery. That was four different ones, and then we can identify each other by livery. Well, if we can see them. Yes, yeah. different one. But, uh, different default ones. <laughs> No, I don't think that. I don't think that'll work. It'll be, we can't see that. All right, folks. Hey, that's a wrap. Phoenix, Phoenix two touchdown as well. Good one, guys. Thanks for the thanks for the good practice. Nice work, folks. Uh, see you tomorrow then. Uh, we're still uh, good for uh, six o'clock UTC time, or? Yeah, that's fine for me. Um, six UTC, like eighteen hundred. Uh, six. Yeah, UTC. sorry. It would be daytime. Yeah. Um, uh, eighteen hundred. Yeah. Sorry, I must uh, mistake. It's that's. That's uh, yeah. It's still daytime, but that's a good time to start the process since it took us thirty-five minutes to get our liveries together. True. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. Signing out. All right. Au revoir. Tomorrow. Cheers. Yes. I got to go into. Thanks for tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>